welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of, um, I'm sure many parts, to my collections videos for Bath & Body Works items. Uh, it's going to be real straightforward today. I've taken a photograph of all of these, almost all of them. I didn't put the slocks on the video, or sorry, on the photograph, but I did take a picture of everything else, post it up onto my Instagram, which is Canada Kim 1978 Canada is spelled with a K. So uh, with that be being said, I don't remember the prices on these. I don't remember the names of these necessarily, but today's video is going to be on my three, three wick candle holders, pedestals, um, wallflower plugins, um, scent portables. I only have a couple of them and then scent portable holders that I use for my car. Um, did I say slocks? Oh yeah. And then there's slocks, which is my word or my terminology for slipper socks. Because as you can see, I have hardwood floors and I love my, my feet to be soft and warm, <laughs> especially living on the, what we call the wet coast. You don't want cold feet because if you have cold feet from scratch from the, like the morning, you're cold all day. And I grew up in the desert. Well, I grew up in a part of the country that is considered a desert, but does get winter and it, goes, it used to get down to like minus 20 um, when I was a kid. And at least that way you could warm up fast. This way, when you're cold, it's that damp cold here on the wet west coast, also known as the wet coast. So um, without further ado, we're going to hop on into it. I'm going to go with the very few, uh, now I've left uh, one scent portable holder in my car and it's like a gold color. Looks like a honeybee, like there's a couple of honeybees on them. That's what's in my car right now as a holder. But in my car right now, I have uh, pumpkin pecan waffles. Uh, I still have another one of these, so I have pumpkin pecan waffle, uh, pumpkin apple. I don't buy a lot of these. Again, it's just to fill the three th to make my thirty dollars, and then like you know, so I can get my ten dollars off of thirty kind of thing. The best deal I can possibly get. And these things are going up in price. Sweater weather, which is lovely. I even I love that candle as well, and pumpkin cupcake. I'll probably pick up some summer ones soon because I do enjoy some summer scents. So again, like I mentioned, uh, there is a holder in my car that looks like it's gold. It's got a couple of bumblebees that are also gold. This is the very first one I ever bought. This uh, scent portable um, I ever got for my car because I just didn't know what to get. And I got one for the fall, which is a pumpkin, super sparkly. Yay! And oh my turtle, I love turtles, you guys. Like it's one of my favorite animals. I just think they're smart and just, you know, it's like it's like turtles are like you. We all have someone we know who doesn't say very much, but when they do, you listen. You know what's important. I don't know why I would put that together with the turtle, but I think turtles as very laid back. But hey, when I got something to say, I got something to say. I don't know why I think that, but I do. And I've got a little, um, I think it's like a little bee of some kind. I don't think it's a fly. Um, but anyway, it could be a dragonfly maybe. But anyway, use it for summertime as well. I will show you my wall, uh, wallflower bulbs in a different video, but um, because I do have quite a few. But I will show you the holders that I have. I picked this one up. It's like one of the only items I ever got this past SAS that was actually 75% off. Um, it's like originally this one, what does it say? $10. So for two fifty, dollars hello, yes. Um, and I'm sure I got a $10. I, I don't go without a 10 off of 30. So I must have got it even cheaper. So that I'll use at Christmas time. And I haven't used this one yet. This one was also $10, but because I am Canadian, I've been waiting. And when July, June, July hit July 1st, of course, is Canada Day. I'll make sure I'll be sporting this one in my house. So I have not used that either. But what's currently being used in my house, I don't have a lot of them, but I really love the sunburst. Um, it's been, it's currently being used. I've taken the plug out, but I love it. This is an old dirty one. It's like the first one. I think I got this in a Mother's Day bag from last year. They started putting these in like this, and I think it was a beautiful day uh, uh, bulb that was in there. I mean, I got to clean it out, but it, it's doing fine. And whatever it's fine it's just basic it's in my spare room never no one ever goes in there so <laughs> all right so let's go into some slocks now they all come with these really cool and cute names and for whatever reason i only remember one of the names of these socks because i thought it was just so adorable but anyway 
I have, these are old again, but they're clean. These, I have these and they have a little grippies. They're mostly off now. They have little grippies on the bottom, which is great. So you don't slip and slide. Um, they're, they're supposed to be shea infused and they're good for so many washes. I don't care. I put lotion on my feet anyway, and then put those on before I go to like, you know, if I'm just going to hang out and watch television, that's what I'll do anyway. So that's how I moisturize on my feet. I don't really know. I can't say that these gave me my extra moisture without putting that lotion on. I have these little polka dot ones. They all have the grippies on them. I have bumblebee ones, which I think I probably got a couple years ago. These are ones that I actually was wearing. I had to take off to make this video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have these little beaver ones. They're so cute. They're, I'm like, I am Canadian, as you know. And like, look at the little beaver on them. <laughs> oh, peanut gallery. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> there's that one. And the one that I can remember the name of because I just love it. And I think it's so cute is the, this one here. And it's um, a skunk. So you've got the skunk space here and then the tail that wraps around to the back and it's called a little stinker. And I remember that just because I think it's stinking cute. Anyway, <laughs> all right, into my holders. I have one, uh, most of my holders you will see most are not specific to, um, to a holiday or a time of year. This one I did buy because I'm like, ah, I didn't have anything with a punch of fall. So I did buy one of these probably a couple years ago. It was $10, the price tag is still on there. Um, so I bought this here, that's seasonal obviously. And this is seasonal as well. I picked this up, I think it was summer of 2015. The sticker's off of it, I would say it was probably about $10. It's the, um, like coconut or palm leaves. And this one's pink on the inside and I believe they had a green one as well, but I picked the pink one this cuz and so there you go <laughs> um the, my oldest my oldest holders that I've that I've purchased and I've had for a really long time and they say slack can and co so that just tells you how long and there's I don't have price tags on there anymore but the wave like a wave kind of look to them um so yeah because it says slack and you can probably understand that I've had that for a while and this one I love, I have it in my, actually I've got the tequila lime cupcake burning right now and it's in my bedroom and I have it in this thing and I just love the design, um, especially one that's pulled out and I think it looks really great. I love this one in my bedroom. Um, the one I'm gonna be pulling out soon because I guess it is somewhat seasonal because of one part of it. I picked this one up spring of last year, summer of last year. I loved the little daisies or whatever you want to call it on here. I loved how it was clear. Um, actually, I, I can take it outside because it, the candle sits quite deeply. Um, a Yankee candle can fit in here, no problem, with lots of clearance. But because it sits so deeply, I can actually take this outside carefully and put it on my, um, my table out there if I want to just read outside, which I do a lot in, in the summertime if I have some sprees free time. I'll sit outside and I'll relax and I'll have a cup of tea and um, I like to bring my candle. So it does, the wind, what I'm trying to say is with the candle being low, the wind doesn't take the flame and go crazy places with it. So uh, one I'll probably bring out in the fall when I do my throwback Thursdays and bring out the, the candles I did not even review this past season for the cork and vine collection. I pick, did pick this up. So I will bring that out in the early fall, although it's really not that seasonal. I mean, I'm from the wine capital of Canada, so I could just say, hey, I got this because I'm from the wine capital of Canada. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, so that's that. And a pet the only pedestal that I have is this little owl, which you've probably, if you've been with me for any length of time, you have seen this one out and about. Sometimes I have candles burning here. I've always got one here and over here, but because I'm, showing you what I normally hold candles. I'm not burning candles at this exact moment. So they will be burning shortly. And one of my favorites, if I could find this one, if it came back, if it came back, I will know it was destined to be, I would get another one of these. Oh, isn't he precious? Yes, I just said that word. I'm so ashamed. Anyway, I love this owl. Um, wise, wise birds, uh, love them. And um, it actually does glow right through to the eyes. The only problem, of course, is sitting. So I've cleaned this out as much as I can. There, It does get very black on the inside after quite some time. There's lots of nooks and crannies. So it is a little bit more difficult to clean. And I did soak it and things like that. But um, I'm noticing some small hairline fractures, but I've looked on the inside and they don't go through. So I'm just being very gentle with this. Um, I think it's probably from washing it 
because it's not like it's been bumped or anything. And the last one to show you, the controversial, is it a vase? Is it a three wick holder? It kind of depends on where you're from. Um, those Again, if you've stuck around, if you join me on my Instagram, you will have been a part of this whole conversation, which I loved. I loved how everyone got involved in it uh, in the sense that, you know, some places in the States, yeah, this was being sold as a boss. A bit, at first it was being sold as a throw it colder and then boom, it was all of a sudden changed to a boss. Obviously there were some candles that had blown or exploded because they didn't make thick enough glass on the inside because it is glass lined. Um, but I'm, my manager in my local store still to this day, like, what is it? Two and a half, three months after this came out has never received such, uh, like information or signage or anything to change. So it was just a safe face, Bath and Body Works. I get it, but wow, come on. <laughs> you don't sell flowers. And when you ring this up, I don't remember what it's called, but I was told when it was rung up. By some people it actually had the, like abbreviation for hurricane so if you're gonna change it to a buzz you might want to change your skew uh, your skew name to it so anyway this is my collection um, part two um, I'm gonna have a few more collections probably a few more parts and spread out um, throughout the week now that I have some time to film so you guys thanks very much for joining me again and stay tuned for the next part so I don't know which one I'm gonna film next but the last one's gonna be the candles for sure all right you guys take care and be safe <laughs>